History and the Family Circle Cup go hand in hand. Dating back to 1973, the event can boast being the oldest women's only tournament on the tour. Although the modern day competition struggles to match the star spectacle of the events that preceded in Indian Wells and Miami, Charleston showpiece is still renowned for its fans. An average of nearly 90,000 spectators have filled the stands each year since the move to its current home at Daniel Island 14 years ago. Back to the 2015 edition, with the opening acts of day one completed, the headliners took to the court on day two. Three former champions topped the order of play on Tuesday, with returning 2014 winner Andrea Petkovic closing the show on centre. First though, 2010 victor Sam Stosa took on Bulgarian qualifier Cecil Krat and Cheva. Once ranked as high as four in the world, Stosa looked back to her clinical best on her way to taking the opener. Oh yes, beautiful strike from Stosa. She didn't have it all her own way though, Karen Tancheva making a superb start to set two. Brilliant reactions first of all from Stosa, but what a forehand winner on the run, and that is the perfect start for the second set. The Australian is renowned for her power, but it was a delicate touch that proved effective here. She moved ahead in the second. That's a delightful touch. 3-1 soon turned to 5-3 for Stosa. Her opponent's uncanny ability to return overhead smashes began to yield results. Oh, how about that? Ratancheva certainly playing her part. Stosa wrapped up the set to move into the second round. Much one match point needed for Samantha Stosa to wrap up this first round battle. The city, the fans, everything. I just love being here. As soon as I'm flying to Charleston, I instantly feel happy. So, um, <laughs> I guess I've been coming here for many years, and, and like, like you said, I've got lots and lots of great memories. So it's always a pleasure to come back. Another player feeling the love from the family circle crowd was American Sloan Stevens. 22-year-old seeing off compatriot Bethany Matic Sands for her first ever main draw victory in five visits. Elena Yankovic won the Family Circle title in 2007, finished runner-up in 2013. She looked to be making serene progress in her second round match with Tatiana Maria. But trailing by a set, the German hit back in spectacular fashion. Brilliant. This time she does get to the net. Very competent volleys from the German. Ranked just inside the world's top 100, Maria was making shots that a top 10 player would have been proud of. Wow, where did that come from? All you can do is smile about it, Yelena Jankovic. The match levelled at 1-1, Jankovic took out her frustration. She takes it at the first attempt. That is an emphatic break of serve if ever I saw one. Clearly making up for lost time, the serve won four games in a row. And the one-way traffic continues here in this deciding set. It's Jankovic unblemished so far. She leads three games to love. It wasn't long before Maria's challenge was brought to an end. And there's the winning overhead from the number six seed. Toiling out there in the sun, the heat here in Charleston. Jankovic, the 2007 winner here. There's a three sets winner versus the unseeded German, Tatiana Maria. I was glad I was able to kind of turn it you know, around and, and you know, be strong. It's not easy after you know, having a match point in the second set and then you have to you know, play the third, but you know, I, I did quite well when it mattered. Angelique Kerber hasn't played in Charleston for five years. She made a winning return in three sets against Evgenia Rodina. So on to the main event, reigning champion Pekovic looking to start another successful campaign on the clay. Her opponent Chanel Sheepers clearly hadn't read the script though, racing to a shock for love lead. That deficit proved too big to overturn for the German. Sheepers shot making on another level. The first set was a surprise. Pekovic's clinical comeback in the second was anything but. Fantastic by the German. 
Shot of the match coming at the perfect moment for the world number 11. She took it to a decider. Wow, that's huge. What a get. And Petkovic gets the second set, 6-1. Change in momentum, clear to see. There's no coming back for Sheepers. Nice. An error seeing Pankovic shield the third 6 2. Progress to the third round, not quite as smooth as she would have hoped. And the match point number three is the lucky one for the defending champion, Andrea Petkovic. It wasn't like I wasn't hitting the ball badly, it was just that I played. Um, not c according to Clay at all, and my coach just told me, listen, you're playing hardcore tennis, and you have, if you want to win this match, you have to um, be more patient, and, uh, and that was the key to the match, just be more patient. Top seed Eugenie Bouchard makes her bow in another day of high-quality fixtures on Wednesday. After disappointing showings in her last two tournaments, the Canadian youngster is looking for a much-improved display in South Carolina. I feel like I didn't get enough matches in the past few tournaments that I played, so I just wanted to play more. And um, you know, luckily enough, the tournament gave me a wild card, so uh, I'm very thankful for that. And so excited to, to play some matches and also, you know, s start getting used to the clay.